And Floyd Skater is back with another tutorial today on the Pleasantville effect, which is a fun effect to do. I have the same clip that we edited yesterday. The ramped nose grind. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that into the timeline here. And what the Pleasantville effect is, is it you've probably seen it somewhere or thought of it or something, but it's where all the colors in the footage are black and white except for one color that you choose. So in this case, I'm gonna do red because the shoes are red. But sometimes red is a hard color to do because red will make some of his arms red and his lips red. And as you can see later in the footage, there's a guy with a red shirt right there, so that'll be red. And the guy with the red pants and some red on his helmet. But it'll work. It might even look cool with all that red, so. I'm gonna go to effects. Um, I have one of my favorites, but I'll try and find it in here for you guys. Um, uh, color correction, color corrector three-way. Drag that into your clip, and then load your clip into the viewer. And the, you get you're gonna get these three cir color correcting circles. Go down to the bottom, and you'll see limit effect. And then right there, it'll have a little arrow. Click that arrow. Some more things will pop up and check this box keep saturation and luma unchecked you don't need those now hit um oh and bring this saturation down to zero now hit the eyedropper and eyedrop right on the color that you want to the color that you're gonna use <laughs> so keep saturation and luma unchecked and now you can see some of his shoes are turning gray, but there's still some red there, so get some softening in there. A little, only not too much softening. Really not too much. And then drag these out until you get to where all the red you want to be in the frame is out of the frame. So now you can see his shoes are all gray except for a little bit of red around the corners that's fine and his skin color is gray because he's pretty tan so that turned gray too with the red and then come over here and you'll see this uh, trapezoid I think whatever the shape is it's for inverting so click invert and there you go you have a nice clip with only red in it so go into the timeline, render it, and almost done. Just to see what it looks like, and here it is. So there it is, the Pleasantville effect. But as you can see, everything's black and white, except for all the other red in the film. All this, this guy's skin, this guy's shirt, this kid's pants, Paro's sticker on his helmet. But it's still only all the red, so it's fine. And thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to have a video every week, every day this week, so subscribe.